In June of 2010, Universal Orlando Resort in Florida celebrated the grand opening of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter with some very special guests. That is absolutely amazing. It's fantastic. The detail and care that has gone into it is equivalent to what went into the films. And now, a warning. I've just been kind of blown away completely. <gasps> That's so cute. This is such a pleasure and a, a delight seeing all of these things that I read about come to life. Wow. <laughs> That's brilliant. To actually see that, you know, it really was quite overpowering, actually. But we haven't lost anyone yet. Not this week, anyway. I remember I would come out of films when I was younger and absolutely just wish that world could be real and that I could be a part of it. The promise in the beginning was that this experience, the Wizarding World, would look like the movies. But before the grand opening celebration took place, Universal theme park designers spent years on design and construction, working hand in hand with the Warner Brothers team and Harry Potter filmmakers to ensure the park's authenticity to the books and movies. What's been very rewarding has been the collaboration with the folks at, at Universal. Um, they are clearly the best at what they do. There's a big partnership here, as, as you might imagine. We were trying to bring our ideas, ideas from the movie, to a very, very you know, incredibly experienced professional bunch of theme park builders. It's a really cool mix of movie world and theme park world because Universal have brought a lot of great ideas how to animate a lot of the items that have been created in the movies. This is being done to a level of detail that there just isn't a comparable to. When we build sets and movies, we build an interior set in one stage and build the exterior in another stage. In Orlando, it'll all be joined together, but it'll still look exactly like the movie set. So people will be able to experience the whole town of Hogsmeade, not just one room. You can look down Main Street, Hogsmeade, and see from one end to the other. It's something you're never able to do in the film. It's terrific. You walk through the gate, you get to walk past the Hogwarts Express um, and be greeted uh, into uh, the wonderful world of Hogsmeade. Everything that the people have either seen in the films, heard referred to in the films or read in the books. Universal have been as keen as Warner Brothers. And we, the filmmakers, and Joe have been to be authentic and absolutely as authentic as possible. Today we begin three days of celebration as we move towards the grand opening of the most spectacular theme entertainment area ever created. <laughs> to mark the grand opening, Universal Orlando Resort planned a massive event. Because it's so imaginative yeah, and lovely. Everything. See the scale of the castle from where you are there? I mean, it's, that is absolutely amazing. Uh, but you all run, Salazar. It was love that saved young Harry. It's perfect. It's, it's just, it's, it's yeah, straight from, it's straight from the films. Yeah. Absolutely. Cheers! Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. It's all the matters uh, one yeah. shop. That's brilliant. Just like that is, that is, I have to say, anybody who comes here, that, make that your first stop. The list of VIPs in attendance was impressive and included author J.K. Rowling herself. It feels so authentic. All of the, you know, I mean, you see market towns in, in the UK that are just like this. I mean, I'm used to walking onto film sets where at a certain point everything dissolves into scaffolding and lighting. So I suppose the completeness of the vision is what is um, it's really breathtaking here. Then it was time for the red carpet gala. It's been such a big part of all our lives, stepping through the sets and to be able to give that over to you know the public and to let all ages enjoy it was just you know a wonderful feeling. And I thought I'd lived Harry Potter, but it's only when you come here that you really do that. It's astonishing, absolutely astonishing. I just, it's just amazing. I'm awestruck. To have your own video games and toys is one thing, but your own theme park is a, a child's dream come true. The celebration began with Warwick Davis leading the frog choir. followed by composer John Williams, conducting the Orlando Philharmonic Orchestra. Before the applause had time to die down, the night bus arrived with some very special passengers. And just in time, the final two stars arrived to take the stage. 
and cast a spell, kicking off the grand finale. Lumos Maxima! On the 18th of June, the moment Harry Potter fans the world over had been waiting for was finally at hand. We've had a chance to look around the park and it really is incredible. The wizarding world of Harry Potter is truly the most spectacular themed entertainment area ever created in history. The stars met with contest winning school children who'd earned a chance to be first in line. And the wizarding world of Harry Potter officially open to one and all.